Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the BF-109 K4, which is a rank 4 BR 5.7 German fighter, of course, for the German Air Tech Tree. This thing features a 20mm cannon centrally mounted, as well as two 13mm MGs, although it can have cannons on the outside of the uh, of the plane here in the underwing hubs. Of course, those are totally optional, and a lot of people disregard those because they feel like it brings the performance down just enough where it will make this not a competitive plane. In my opinion, they are worth it because, of course, who doesn't like extra two 20mm MGs, or uh, cannons, rather, but it is still a choice between, uh, of course, that and maneuverability. Now, you can also have thirty millimeter, a 30mm cannon right here, but, of course, I choose to go with the 20, mainly because it has far more ammunition, and for taking down fighters, that's plenty, and also taking down bombers, that 20mm cannon, especially in the right spot, can really do some damage let's get in some gameplay here i really want to show what this thing can do this is the ultimate version of the bf 109 it is just really cool and also if you have problem with this uh skin just so you know i was thinking about doing some other skins like this one this one is beautiful in my opinion this one is also good this one's they're all really really cool skins i mean really regardless of the one that you want it is just a really really nice plane that being said let's get into some gameplay now, let me know in the comments below if you guys think that I should buy the uh, Papa Guy Staffel uh, skin, because in my opinion, while I really like this skin, it just feels a little bit weird on the BF-109 K4, uh, just being that this ha is such a historically significant aircraft, um, it just feels a little bit strange, you know what I mean? But that said, let's get into some, to some strengths and weaknesses. I can hardly speak here. Hopefully that's not a sound of anything worse, but that said, this has a phenomenal rate of climb. While I am considering going for that B-24, which I honestly probably should do, this F-2G-1 down here is looking like an appetizing target, probably cutting it a little bit soon. But, let's see, come down, come down. Now this is where those extra 20mm cannons will really come in handy. Right there. Okay, perfect. Took out his elevator. Swing up. And put that engine back on. Honestly, I probably cut that engine a little bit too long. But this, much like most German planes, is just an excellent boom and zoomer. It is... I'm just going to fire some uh, MGs at them. But much like most German planes, it is just absolutely uh, phenomenal in the boom and zoom roll. All these are missing, huh? Wow, that is the worst. Oh my god. Just die, please. <laughs> that was the worst display of gunfighting I think I've done uh, all day, as a matter of fact. But this is also my first match uh, all day in a German plane. Not that that's any excuse. But, that said, let's get back into the strengths and weaknesses. So, number one, of course, like I said, excellent rate of climb. This has a great top speed, great acceleration. Pretty much anything in terms of speed, it is excellent. Now, when it comes to just general armament, its regular armament is not fantastic. Uh, but that's, again, why I like to supplement it with those 20mm wing pods. Um, those are just excellent in every sense of the word. Okay. Oh, wow, this guy is... He screwed up at first, at least. Got him. Okay. This guy... Ooh, retract, retract, retract. Hopefully I can... Didn't get an assist. Genuinely surprised. So, let's get back into those uh, strengths and weaknesses. So, again, excellent speed, acceleration, rate of climb... It's got an okay armament, in my opinion, a much better armament, again, when supplemented with those 20mm cannons under the wings right there. But uh, it's also got fairly good maneuverability. I mean, this is one of the more maneuverable BF-109s. In my opinion, the F-Series and the G-Series are probably going to be the best in terms of overall performance. But this certainly is no stinker. So... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm still alive! Still alive, but hardly. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna die here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm alive. 
Okay, let's let's get this bad boy back to base, and uh, let's just go, kind of finish off those strengths and weaknesses here. So, as you can see, I mean, it can deal with a pretty decent amount of punishment. Now, the K series is interestingly it's the only version of the uh, the K4 is the only version of the Plan K series that was actually ever produced um, in mass, at least. They were have like a K6, which was going to have two 30 millimeter cannons. I think in the wings uh, would have had reinforced wings as well uh you know there, there would have been numerous different variants of this that uh that would have come about and uh, but this is obviously the only one in game now it's incredibly fast has a great rate of climb excellent performance overall and even without those 20 millimeter cannons you can still do a pretty decent amount of uh damage now when it comes to its weaknesses of course again its sock loadout is eh doesn't have any secondary ordnance so it has no bombs uh, to fall back on uh, so you really can't do close air support on this unless you're doing air cover um, or you are this is gonna be really tough with this uh, the landing gears or um, unless of course you like to do cannon based CAS which I do but I'm gonna have to land this one hard I landed it hard but I still landed it that's all that matters okay but, um, of course, with other weaknesses, it's just, it's not the most maneuverable plane out there. I mean, the problem with, with some aircraft like this is that even though it's very maneuverable, there's always someone more maneuverable. And so most Japanese fighters, most, uh, like the Spitfires uh, for the British, uh, the, the Zeros for the Japanese, uh, they are going to outmaneuver you. So no matter what you do, you're just going to be outmaneuvered by them. So it's almost, oh, especially when you have those under-wing uh, 20 millimeter cannons so it's almost best to just avoid gunfight with them but anyways let's get back up in the air see what we could do not too bad thus far three kills so i'm just gonna launch some uh hmg shots at him hopefully i can okay yep i'm getting out of there i was just hoping i'd be able to possibly shoot out one of his engines but that's not going to be the case so just kind of get right behind him and do this now it's it has a fairly this plane has a fairly low ammunition count um unfortunately which will of course hinder its wow i'm really which is going to limit its uh its high endurance dogfighting capability so you're not really going to be able to be in a match for all too long uh with this shooting down planes before you have to land again um unfortunately Okay, that's good enough. Was there one that was closer, or was it this one? Yeah, I think it must have been this one. So, you know what? I'm just going to go in for these guys and uh, take, well, hopefully take them out. But thus far, not too bad. Three actual enemies. It was it three bots thus far, so not a bad match. Hopefully, I can get four. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if that P4... No, okay, the P47 probably won't be my kill. But the P51... Hopefully, well, maybe that P-40. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll skip forward to the actual dogfight. So I'm actually doing quite well here. Uh, and also, that BF-109 just took out the P-47, uh, the first P-47, and also that P-51 by himself. That's also a K-4, so it is a very, very good aircraft. Uh, but he does not have the additional cannons, which just goes to show you really don't need them in order for this plane to perform. Now, I'm not flying over an airfield, so I should be okay in trailing this guy. Uh, he's exposing himself a little bit here. He really went past the point of no return, so he can't turn in on me now. Or turn back around on me. But the P-47 does have an excellent dive rate. Um, arguably better than this plane, depending, of course, on its initial energy. Now, as you can see, we're maintaining distance, give or take. But he's also kind of gaining uh, distance from me. Which is a little bit expected, but in a regular... Uh, sort of... I'm just going to try to shake him up here. Because he knows I'm here. In a regular pattern of movement. So just on a flat plane, I'm going to be faster than him. Uh, so... Don't want to keep shooting too much. Now, that is a definitive weakness of this aircraft. It does not have the most um, HMG ammunition out there. Also, the flaps are not that great. They don't really work all too well at speed they will break pretty easily i should be able to get them got him okay perfect 
Not too bad. Ugly, ugly end there, but of course, like most players will do, rather than dogfight you, they go back to their base, which is not any way that you're going to get points. So let's get into the next match. So while it's still on my mind, let's just kind of quickly, I guess, go over some of them again, just refresh the main strengths and weaknesses of this that I was kind of thinking of. So again, great speed, good maneuverability, decent enough cannon armament, at least when it cope with the 220 or the additional 220s. And uh, it does have, of course, again, great dive rate, great rate of climb, pretty much just great overall performance. This is the best performing uh, of the BF-109s in-game. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it has the best power-to-weight ratio of all of them. Now, when it comes to weaknesses, it's got mediocre flaps. They're not going to last at speed, uh, typically, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really want to activate them so much right now. But, of course, they're not the most powerful flaps in the game, and it shows, and that will uh, limit your overall characteristics when it comes to turning. Uh, again, you know, by adding those two 20mm cannons, you will see a pretty decent reduction in overall maneuverability, speed, and all that. So a lot of people elect not to use them. I personally like them because the more the merrier, and I always typically have a pretty decent way of uh, getting out of trouble. So thankfully, you know, I haven't really had any issues with them thus far. But, um, you know, additionally, it, this is not at all a, uh, a perfect plane, but... Let's just kind of get into some strategies here and, well, kind of go over it like that. So, I'm about 2,200 meters up. I'm going to boom and zoom on this AD2, and that is your strategy. Right there, you're just going to want to climb up because this has a fantastic climb rate. And then, is this guy just going to... Oh, good. He's turning the exact way I want. And then, you're just... you. I hope that guy doesn't shoot me. And then, you just kind of zoom down on the enemy, and boom, you get yourself a kill. It's pretty easy. The BF-109, and more so the Faka Wolf 190s, are perfect boom and zoom aircraft. I mean, you really can't ask for better aircraft uh, to do that. Just because, especially when it comes to the BF-109, it climbs a bit better than the typical FW-190. And uh, especially when it comes to the later FW-109s, or, uh, ugh. BF-109s, they are just fantastic climbers because once you start getting into the G-Series and especially the K-4, it just has a phenomenal, phenomenal rate of climb uh, just due again to its incredible uh, power-to-weight ratio. So, mm, can I do this? Probably a stupid move, but I really don't care. I'll just launch a few MG shots across the bow. I don't think that they register beyond two kilometers, but I'm also kind of undershooting them there, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. But, I really kind of sold myself out there. But, of course, being that there were no real enemy threats near me, I don't really feel like I had to worry about stalling and being shot out at the top of a stall. Uh, that guy was about to go for me, but no. So, I'm going to go for this MB-5. He's probably going to be going for this HE-162. Now, another great thing with this aircraft, another strategy that I employ very usefully, um, that I think can be employed by most fighters is just going to be to go for a an enemy that's already preoccupied with taking out your ally so for example this p47 more so this you know what this p47 probably actually he's just put himself in a really vulnerable position there that'll sweep back around for the mb uh martin baker whatever the hell it is but whoa shoot i just actually ducked my head right there Holy cow! I am not kidding. I actually ducked my head, and this J2M5 is going to try to steal my kill. Unfortunately. Waste your shot. <laughs> he got himself killed! Don't do that, guys. That is a bad, bad look. Like, he was very obviously my kill, and he was sinking down. But, um, you know, you're going to want to, of course, try to kill enemies that are preoccupied with killing your allies. And a lot of people... You know, they'll just go straight up for a bomber. They'll just go straight up for, like, these big, stupid, lumbering targets. Sometimes that works, but most of the time, if you actually help your ally, kind of like what I just did there, you will be very successful in getting kills. I mean, it's really that simple. I got three kills very easily right there, plus an NPC kill. Uh, and since last match, I've gotten, like, what, seven or eight kills all combined? It's easy. It's because 
And I screwed up a little bit at the end of the last match. I didn't help my ally until it was uh, a little bit later than I should have. But, in general, it's not a very difficult thing. So, you're on one... Ooh, ooh, I'm screwing that up. I should be able to outturn this guy. But, ugh, jeez. Ugly. But, again, now he's going for my ally. Hopefully... Okay, now my ally's dead. Uh... Hmm... I'm sorry, SU-85 Japan. I feel like a jerk. Okay. This guy's got clearly got an energy advantage, so I'm going to turn around. He's going to turn on me, I'm sure. Yep. Turn back around. Yep. Okay, yep. So he's turning on me. Want to gain some altitude. That J7W is probably going to clean him up. Nope, he got cleaned up. Perfect. Hit him a few times. Engine weaker. Ooh, that was real close. Turn back around. He probably doesn't have so much of an energy advantage anymore. I don't know what I damaged, but he seems to be maneuvering worse and worse now. I gotta worry about that P-47 coming down. That's gonna be my main target at this point. Nope, maybe not. Hmm a tough one. I still have to go for this F4U just because I feel like he still can kind of pose a threat. And he's still just fast enough. But that P-47 should be down soon. Okay, got myself a crit on him. Perfect. Now he realizes I'm within range. Start shooting, start shooting. And I missed all of those. None too shabby. Four kills in this match. Take out a bot. But again, boom and zoom. And uh, as awful as it sounds, use your allies for bait. <laughs> you know, it's really that simple. This is an opportunistic aircraft. You have to use it that way. And this is my first two matches with this plane. I got two four kill matches in a row because use boom and zoom on especially when it comes to attack aircraft and just don't sink down to their level use the strengths of this aircraft to your uh you know at sorry Ugh, ugly but use the strengths of this aircraft to uh to their fullest and uh you know what i might even just turn around i'm getting a little greedy here i want to shoot out this su6 and then just try to hide away the weaknesses. So don't don't get into like a dogfight with a Spitfire. Just go for it. Like, go for Spitfires if they're attacking your allies. Simple. Ugh. That way you can actually kill them before they become a threat to you. But I'm pretty much just wasting time here going for this. But whatever. It is what it is. You'll probably just crash into this mountain. Okay, fun. Okay, let's just go back to base. I'm assuming the match is pretty much over now, but uh, assuming it's not, I'll get back into it and just kill that guy. But uh, yeah, it seems as though the match is over. I guess just one more quick match. Don't even... I'll try not to jumble my words. I guess I had a real tough time talking tonight. So uh, as if that wasn't obvious in how I presented the strengths and weaknesses and tactics. But we'll get back on our horse and just have a little bit of fun for the last match. As if we haven't already had a ton of fun getting 8 kills, 2 matches, and no deaths. So, as I get closer to this A26 over here, um, I'll just say, truthfully, I actually died in the last match. So, after I kind of cut the footage, I died due to AA fire. I got a little overzealous when going after the uh, last P-51, but we still had like 2 or 3 other fighters on my team. So, hopefully, we won that. Uh, I don't think the match has been decided quite yet, but hopefully... Now I said I should be able to... Okay, overshot. Undershot. Last thing you want is to... Sit behind these guys. And make a fool of yourself like this. Pull up, pull up. Okay, got a hit. 
Okay. Crit. I don't know why they waited so damn long to actually start shooting at me. That was very odd. Anyways. Let's, uh, yeah, I just want to have a good time in this last match. Doesn't really matter how many kills I get. But thus far, you know, I've had, uh, four kills in both my first matches. One death, unfortunately, could have been totally avoided. Uh, don't go after, of course, uh, planes when they're around their base. But I, uh, thought I could do better than that. But that said, I'm just going to go for this A26. I'm sure he's going to... Uh, run for me an a26 in full flight mode is still a dangerous target so let's see what we could do okay he's turning oh he's turning in i don't think he's gonna be able to level out properly before he gets over to me though oh no he is he is got a nice crit enemy gunner unconscious i don't know if i started that fire but i doubt it but he did damage my fuselage just enough and it looks like i did just start that fire okay good Perfect. Okay, two kills. Not too bad. So I got ten kills in three matches. And uh, I'm just going to turn down my <laughs> my web real quick because I was overheating my engine. But still at 94% throttle. Anything above 90%, you still have a really good, um, you know, of course, rate of climb, overall acceleration, and all of that. I mean, in a flat plane, you or in a level plane, you should be able to reach around 600 kilometers per hour with ease, even at like 1,500 or 2,000 meters. So it's not all too bad. But anyways, let's get forward to uh, some more action here. Okay, so I got this M A6M5. Like I said, any plane that can outmaneuver me, especially like uh, an A6M5, any Japanese planes or Spitfires are extremely dangerous. And uh, not planes I will typically want to fight. Okay. I guess that's an exception. Cool. Works for me. <laughs> I was actually going to go help out my Spitfire friend over there. But uh, it looks like I did help him. But I was expecting a bit more of a fight from that guy. But I've got this P-39 here. I do not know how he's in this match. But, hey, whatever. So it looks like we only have, what, one or two planes left on the enemy team. So three kills. Not bad. Probably just going to say that's the end of this match. I don't really think anyone is left. But, you know, of course, I will try to pursue this uh, P-51 and pick him up as he gets off the ground. You know what? I'm just going to climb up real high, dive down, do something real foolhardy, and um, hope that I can get this guy. If Ooh, there's two of them. Maybe I can end up with five kills or three kills and a death. Who knows? Anyways, I'm just going to go climb up real high, dive down, make a fool of myself, and uh, kind of go from there. Unless this TU-2 gets it. Okay, so it looks like this guy is actually taking off. Uh, my BF-109 buddy there in the K-4 with, the, with his own 20mm cannons is going to be looking for a kill. I don't blame him. Probably going to dive down in a few moments here, a few seconds. But, um, yeah, again, I mean... Either way, four kills, four kills, three kills, and these are three consecutive matches. Uh, I did not have any matches between the ones I am recording. So, you know, I don't know if that says anything about the power of this plane, but it certainly feels like a very, very powerful plane. So I'm just going to fire in front of him. Miss him entirely. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. I'm dead. So again, the power of this plane, even with... My, <laughs> you always have to make sure you uh, make, you know, make sure that you are paying attention to airspeed. But even with my in engine off, I was still hitting over 800 kilometers per hour in a dive, which ultimately did me in. So that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 11 kills, two deaths. Kind of wish I had four kills uh, there, but it is what it is. Anyways, we're about to win this, I am sure. So thank you all so much for watching. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the dealio. And I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. Not a bad match.